It's perfect timing, because I just broke up with my boyfriend. Yeah, if anyone wants to make out, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was a really complicated situation, because I really wanted to break up with him, but I also wanted to keep using his Netflix. So it's like, ah, oh, it's so complicated. <sighs> and like, I want to date. Dating is so dumb. I hate it. The last date I went on, the guy was cute. We were making out. Like, he kept trying to have sex with me, and I didn't want to. So I kept being like, no, no. And he kept trying. And then like, after 40 minutes of making out, he stared into my eyes and went, Lisa, quit being stingy with your puss. <laughs> it's like, did you think that line was going to work? I mean, I mean, it did. <laughs> You just gotta take what you can get, you know? Um, like having sex with your friend's dad is not a good idea, and then like one time it is, and it was terrible. He had all this trouble breathing. I'm like, ugh. Um, and then he kept calling missionary traditional, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I just, can you please let me go home? <laughs> like, I don't wanna be here. I don't know, and all relationship advice for women's terrible. Like, I would learn, you know, like I read magazines, I go online, like I'll read a book or two, but like all relationship advice for women is terrible. All it ever says is like, hey, don't be yourself, cause you're a fucking psycho. And that's it, that's all there is. It's like, don't be too available, don't call all the time, don't text too much. I am very available. I look at pictures of cupcakes on the internet all the time, all the time. I know all about nail art. Like, let's just hang out. I just wanna hang out with you. Hang out with your gal pals, get a hobby, go work out. You know what? None of those things are gonna fuck me later. <laughs> the last fight my boyfriend and I got into was he was like, hey, can you please start wearing deodorant? And I was like, it gives you breast cancer, but you are cute. Okay, so I started wearing deodorant. It was going great, I liked it. And then I went to my favorite place on earth, TJ Maxx, and I was shopping, I was looking at a picture frame and I looked and I saw a woman taking a shit on the floor. And so I'm like watching this woman shitting on a floor and I realized that she had a wedding ring on. And I'm like, what the hell? That is crazy, that's crazy. If this woman taking a shit on the floor found a husband, there's no way I'm ever wearing deodorant, ever. Cause she smells like shit and she has a husband. Like what, I don't understand it. And once I went to the girl and she only had one thumb. One thumb and she had a boyfriend. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I hated her cause we were waitresses and she would drop drinks all the time. So I invited her to my house to smoke out of a bong because I knew she couldn't do it. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Do you want to play Mario Kart? Mm. <laughs> Maybe next time. But I also went to a Christian college, which is really silly because I'm a Jew and like, God's not real. So. <laughs> It was just a really fun time. I, I did have this class with this one girl. We took Christian ethics together. You can imagine how fun she is. And um, <laughs> we're still friends on Facebook. And I was reading her status recently. And it said, I wish swallowing wasn't so important. OK. And then, yeah. But then there were six comments underneath it. And not one comment was about dick sucking. That's crazy. That's cr I don't know one friend. <laughs> That would read, I wish swallowing wasn't so important. It would not think about a dick in a mouth. Like, I don't even get it. I don't even get it. All the comments were like, mm, I can't believe you have strep throat. 